Hello, this time I want to show you how to make engraving on any metals as simple and without special tools, regardless of their solidness. This method is called electrochemical engraving. In this video I want to make a sign on the gates of my house. It's in Russian and it warns that there is an angry dog in the yard. The first step is to print the template using a transparent film for printing. In this method I will use a film for the races. It also can be in the form of aerosol, you can buy it on Aliexpress or wherever you can find it. As always, that will be the link in the description. The material of the plate is a thin stainless steel, it must be clean and decreased. Now we need to remove the protective film from the photoresist and glue it to a plate. In order to avoid the appearance of air bubbles, it's better to do it under water, and after that, using the credit card, try to get the photoresist stick to the plate. For tight gluing, we need a high temperature, so just use an iron and a couple of paper sheets. Then we we'll fix the template. If the printer did the job poorly and the ink is visible, you can use a sandwich of several layers. Next up we need an ultraviolet. I use a lamp which is made of ultraviolet light emitting diodes. Also you can leave the sandwich in the sunny place for a couple of minutes. To understand that the photoresist has already been lit by its color, you will see that it became darker. Now the unlit photoresist can be removed by sodium hydroxide. It's very easy to find it, it's used to make a tool for cleaning sandwich pipes. One teaspoon per liter of water would be enough. After a couple of minutes in such a solution, the unlit photoresist is easily washed off. For engraving, you need a constant current source. In my case, it's a car battery. You can still use any power supply. The node is connected to a part, and the cathode could be a net or a plate from any metal. The cathode and node must not touch each other. For this, I attach a piece of sponge to the cathode. Now, moistening the sponge with a solution of water and edible salt, about a tablespoon per liter of water, you need to move the cathode along the part. I don't really like this method and I fixed the cathode in the form of a grid on the part, isolating them with a piece of plastic and placing the structure in a salt solution for 5 minutes. During this process, chlorine is released which is dangerous for breathing, so try to do that in a place with a good ventilation. Finally, remove the photoresist with a solvent or a concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide. Do not forget about safety measures and use protective glass while working with sodium hydroxide. See you next time.